The Virginia Cavaliers came into Chapel Hill with high hopes and had control of the game early, but when Stone Cold in the second half, Tim Brando along with Mike Jaminski, the key number 23 for North Carolina, 23 offensive rebounds, 23 second chance points. That's more than they've ever had. And only 20 points in the second half for Virginia, so a nice defensive job. Maybe a game more at their level of scoring, but North Carolina showed the ability to play that way, and really their front line dominant. They were one Tyler Zeller rebound away from all three of them having a double-double. Amazing to think though, but Zeller is so good and you knew that after what happened against Duke he was going to come out with fire and he certainly did. And uh, you know I, I thought all of them played. I mean, it was a quiet, a quiet game for Harrison Barnes. You'll even say a double-double, but uh, <laughs> Zeller was the guy who wound up open most of the time. Let's take a look at how it all transpired and as you mentioned uh, some foul difficulty had something to do with uh, the problems for Virginia, but look at this. They were like human pogo sticks. Yeah, 23, you talked about it, 23 offensive rebounds, and uh, Barnes with the block shot there. And Mike Scott, a relatively quiet night for him, 18 points, but uh, had some foul trouble in the first half, so that limited his effectiveness. I thought John Tell Evans did a nice job off the dribble, especially early on. 10 first half points for him, and uh, wound up with only 12 for the game, but it was Tyler Zeller who really held sway in the pain area with 25 points. And I really thought uh, James Michael McAdoo gave them a nice lift off the bench, nine points, seven rebounds for him. He and Stillman White, who came in to uh, give uh, Kendall Marshall a bit of a break. That was huge, I thought, for Roy Williams' team in the second half. Yeah, no, it really showed the ability to run the floor. And uh, as we talked about it with him, the uh, ability to play out of the double team, those two working so well in the low box. Tyler Zeller with many a jump hook through the course of this game. Virginia tried to hang tough, but in the end it was just uh, too much North Carolina down low. Yeah, and a lot of it again, you see the nice pass from Stillman White in the half court. They didn't get a ton of runouts in this game, certainly not as many as we're used to seeing with North Carolina. And finally, Reggie Bullock with the cathartic three. They're only <laughs> one of ten, but uh, maybe a confidence builder for him. Roy Williams ties John Wooden for all-time wins. And uh, the final numbers illustrate, look at the dominance on the glass. 52 total rebounds to 32 for Virginia. And plus 13 at the free throw line, too. The second chance points also key. After the game, Tyler Zeller off a 25-point performance talk to the G-Man. Okay, thanks, Tim. I'm joined by uh, Tyler Zeller. And Tyler, first I want to go back and as a team, how did you come off of the Duke loss and what did you do over the last couple of days to put that behind you and move ahead? I think the biggest thing we did was we looked at the last three minutes, all the mistakes we made. Uh, we tried correcting those and uh, when it came down to it, the four minute timeout, we were, we were all talking that we don't want to go back and make those same mistakes. So uh, we just got to build on it and hopefully grow from it. Talk about uh, this game coming in. Uh, obviously, uh, Virginia a little undersized, and did you guys feel like you could dominate things up front? Yeah, uh, you got to give a lot of credit to Mike Scott, though. Uh, we got a little lucky with him in foul trouble and didn't play a whole lot in the first half. Uh, he's a great player, but uh, we did have the advantage inside, so we want to hit the boards hard and then try to get the ball inside as much as possible. I thought you and, and John did a nice job. It looked like they were trying to double team you big, and you guys really played well out of that. Yeah, it's something we work on in practice a lot. It's a lot different when you got 6'8 and 6'8 running at you, but um, it's something we work on. And uh, after the first couple of plays, we settled down and did well. One final question. This team, uh, you know, a, ni a nice win today gives you a little bit of momentum going into the second half of the year. Your thoughts on, on that? Uh, we got some tough games coming up. We got to go to Miami at Miami, and uh, Reggie Johnson's playing very well right now. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how we do. We just got to have some good practices and prepare for it. Congratulations. Great game. Thank you. Tim, back to you. All right, uh, thank you so much, Mike. A magnificent performance by Zeller with those 25 points. And uh, North Carolina winds up victorious by 18 points. Uh, look, uh, I think that the, uh, the concern about uh, a hangover ended because of the play of that front line. No, no question about it. And, uh, you know, you take advantage of where your strengths are. And, and right now they're not shooting the three well. They've got some guys who are injured and down. But I think all in all it was a, it was a good effort and a good win coming off a very tough loss at home against Duke. All right, buddy, I'll see you on Thursday at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Sounds good. All right, that's the final, 70-52. to 52. North Carolina beats Virginia today on the ACC Network.